Phase two, scale your business. So your time to scale has arrived. In this phase, you will learn the process of scaling your store. And while you're scaling, you must make sure you are not compromising on product quality and customer service. Let's discuss the two scaling strategies. So step one will be to scale vertically. Scale vertically means list more products to your store. You can see the example here of this uh, store and it's one store with many, many items. So you will follow the listing targets that we will set you during this chapter, during this phase, and you will list as many products as you can based on the targets. And the goal is to, first of all, establish and scale one store, generate 10, 20, 30 sales per day from one store. Once you establish that and you generate consistent sales from one store and you learn how to scale one store and you also see that you can manage one store, then you move to step two and it's scale horizontally. What does it mean? Open more eBay stores. So if you have one store that scales, now you want to open another one and another one and another one and another one. I can tell you that there are very successful dropshippers who run 50 eBay stores or even more. So it's possible and I'll explain you now how. So of course, um, you will need to understand and learn how to find products. In this chapter, we're gonna cover the art of product research and how you combine competitor research, niche research, and the similar product method. I've recorded a lesson for every method and for every supplier, so you will be able to learn how to find products. Then outsourcing. Consider hiring virtual assistants for product research or customer service once you need the help. So don't rush and just say, oh, I will go and hire virtual assistant just to say that I already have an employee. Only when you need it, you do it. So if you don't have enough time, for instance, and you can see, okay, it's hard for me to scale because I don't have enough, hour, enough hours to find enough products or to take care of customer service, then you go and hire virtual assistants. The second reason to hire a virtual assistant is uh, when you are so big that you can't do everything by yourself. So let's say you've created one store, you scaled one store, but you realize to scale the second and third store alone, it's almost impossible. So you go and hire a virtual assistant. And the last thing I want to speak with you about is choosing a supplier. Diversification is important, but focus is as well. For the first store you want to scale, we recommend to focus on one or two suppliers maximum. The next uh, two lessons are going to be listing targets and choosing a supplier. And in the lesson choosing a supplier, I'm going to show you the recommended suppliers for scaling your store, for scaling your business. And you will need to make the decisions with which suppliers you want to work. So let's move to the next lesson and progress with scaling our business. Phase two, choose your suppliers. So if in phase one, we've took you hand by hand and show you exactly what to do. Now you've grown up, you manage to generate your first 100 sales, and you also can make your own decisions on which suppliers and strategies to use. So suppliers to scale your business. We've uh, give you here uh, four recommendations. One is Amazon. You can continue and scale your business with Amazon, okay? Two is use uh, Walmart and, and uh, three is Home Depot. We put them together because usually sellers combine them both together into one store. And three is use AliExpress. What I did is I prepared a table and compared the pros and cons of all these suppliers so you can make your own decision and choose what suppliers and strategy is best for you. So starting from Amazon. The pros of Amazon is Amazon have fast US shipping, easy returns, and, and, and the average profit is 7 to 15% is same as on Walmart and Home Depot. This is the average profit for working with local suppliers. Um, the disadvantage is the pressure eBay and Amazon put on you as a seller. First of all, eBay uh, make it harder for Amazon dropshippers. Second of all, uh, Amazon from time to time close accounts or, or make issues. We've teach you in this course how to start an eBay store and make sure eBay will treat you the best way, even if you use Amazon. And we also teach you how to create Amazon accounts the best way. Uh, but overall, it's important for you to know what are the disadvantages, because other than that, Amazon have the best service and uh, also huge variety of products. 
Walmart well, and Home Depot. You have fast US shipping and easy returns. Uh, almost like Amazon, a bit less, okay? The average profit margins are similar. And higher average selling price. So usually people who stick to a high ticket items selling expensive products are working with Walmart and, Ham and Home Depot. They have a lot of expensive product, high ticket product that sell well. Now, AliExpress, AliExpress is different. AliExpress is shipping from China. Shipping from China are taking longer. This is the disadvantage of working with AliExpress. However, the average profit on the product you sell from AliExpress is 20 to 30%, okay? And there are a lot of dropshippers using AliExpress, which make it very easy to find products. Same with Amazon, by the way. So by the end of the day, okay, let me give you an example here. If you make $10,000 revenue uh, dropshipping from AliExpress to eBay, you will make around $3,000 profit, right? To make the same profit with Amazon or with Walmart and Home Depot, you need to generate $30,000 revenue if we're talking about 10% profit average. So imagine to generate $10,000 revenue, how many transactions you need to process compare generating $3,000 revenue, how many transactions you need to process. Generating a, a managing store with $30,000 revenue is a hard work. So by the end of the day, these are the pros and cons. Shipping from local suppliers is faster. Shipping from China taking longer time. However, the average profit uh, on drop shipping from AliExpress and from Chinese suppliers is much higher, which basically gives you a lot of room for mistakes, gives you a lot of profit, and can um, uh, help you build a business which is easier to manage. So I hope guys, you find this valuable. You need to make your own decisions. And what I suggest you to do is to also go to the community and post a, a question and see what other sellers in the community are doing, which suppliers they are using and what they're recommending to you. Any of these suppliers that you will choose will be good. There are successful sellers using Amazon. There are successful sellers using Walmart and Home Depot. And there are successful sellers using AliExpress. Thank you very much, guys.